Okay guys, this is a quick video tutorial um, to get you comfortable on the PC. Some of you may know this, some of you may not, but this is something that you should do whether you're in my classroom on your PC, if you still have a Chromebook, there's a setting here that I'm going to teach you how to use to make life a little bit easier. Um, if you're one of my CG2s, CG3s, or CG4s that get a uh, PC laptop upgrade, this year, you should do this in your Chrome browser as well. So what I'm going to teach you how to do is how to properly download a file. In this case, from Google Classroom, but this works anytime you want to download a file uh, of any type through the Chrome web browser. So the setting I want to show you is up here on these three dots. So if I click on that and I go select settings we get our settings window. Um, and what we have to do is scroll all the way down to our advanced options. Um, and by the way, if you want to look through all this stuff and set up some stuff, it's up to you. Um, there's ways to set up your, your, your theme, um, your home button, which in my case is google.com. There's a lot of important things in here. Also, you should have your show bookmarks bar on as well. So you can see your bookmarks here. They're very, very, very useful. Uh, anyway, I want you to go down to Advanced uh, and scroll down a little bit more. And here we'll see this heading of Downloads. Okay, uh, I believe by default it's going to go to your Downloads folder. This right here is the path on my personal computer where it should go. But this is the most important one. Ask where to save each file before download. If you turn this on, every time you try to download something, a window will pop up and say, okay, show me where you want this file to go. And we want to stay organized here. You're going to be uploading and downloading a lot of files all year in multiple classrooms. So the more you can stay organized, the less stressful life will be. Trust me. So we want ask where to save each file before downloading to be on. Okay, and then once that happens, it automatically saves that setting. I can close my setting and go back to, um, for example, this will be my demonstration in Google Classroom. If I go to Classwork and I click on this file, I want to download this MHS Bear Strong JPEG. I do not ever want to open it with PhotoP, by the way. We're using Photoshop this year. Um, so here you'll, you'll look up at the top. We have no icon for downloading this file. So one thing that the Google people have done is made it a little bit harder to download files. Um, it looks like you can't do anything here, but what we want to do is open it by clicking the three action buttons over here, open a new window. And when we do that, a new tab will pop up. And now you can see we have our download file options. So now when I click that file, or excuse me, that icon to download it, my window pops up and says, where do you want to store this file? Um, here, you have a new folder option. If you have yet to get organized, I strongly suggest you click new folder and that'll pop up and go CG1, or if you want to go period one, CG one, however you want to organize is a good idea to do that. I'm just going to do CG1. And I'll delete this later. Hit enter. Now I'm going to double click on that folder. And now if I go down to click save, it goes to this PC, downloads, CG1 folder. So here's the path up here, save, and boom. When I go to my file explorer now, I can see I have my downloads up here very quickly and my quick access bar. If you don't have that, let me know. I can fix it for you. We can walk you through that. Double click on my CG1 folder and there is my Bear Strong logo download. So hopefully this makes life a little easier. This, by the way, is not a suggestion. I'm telling you, do it. Okay, life will be like, just don't neglect this. Simplify things, keep things simple. It'll help you a lot along the way. Let me know if you have any questions.